I started to unpack this at home and then I got so excited that I stopped and wanted to share it with you guys. Um, so I am going to be turning the little gallery area at the um, back of the meeting house into a little clay tool shop and we're also going to be having um, handcrafted pottery. And I got my first order of mud tools and so I thought I'd unbox them with you. bunch of replacements, replacement blades, which I think means that I ordered some shredders down there. Got <laughs> a pile of the dual trim tools, which you guys are, everybody's always asking about. There's a few people in the studio that have them. Now we've got a bunch of them that will be for sale. Sponges, lots of sponges. There's 25 in each of these packages. I got the finishing sponge, the rough sponge, and then the medium sponge. Let's see. So nicely packaged. Let's see what's in here. Maybe. A rainbow of bull ribs. Soft, the red is soft, I think, of all of these. The green is medium. And then the blue is pretty firm. It still has some flexibility, but it's pretty firm. I think these are eight dollars each. I'm not going to be able to wrap them up as nicely as they came. Let's see what's in here. I don't even remember what I ordered. <gasps> Clay sharks. Let's have the little baby shark song going. So this is two tools in one. It's your wood knife, or your clay knife, and a needle tool that you can fold in so you don't stab yourself when you're digging through your toolbox. A little rainbow of those. This is very exciting. I feel like I don't always treat myself myself to new tools, so like it's gonna be hard to uh, keep away from. Oh, there's a whole bunch of the Pax tools. So they are super for you hand builders out there. They've got like a serrated edge and a long edge um, for cleaning up surfaces. Um, and they'd be good for, um, for uh, long wheel thrown forms as well. Oh, a bunch of bull ribs. a satisfying shape, isn't it? Let's see what's in here. It would help if I remembered what I'd ordered three weeks ago. 
been sitting in my uh, office. I've been too busy to unpack it, and I really wanted to enjoy unpacking. I knew I was going to be excited. Um, one more hack tool. Oh, I forgot I got the little bitty baby ribs. I have one of these at home, and I love this little guy for getting in inside tight spots into mugs, narrow cylinders, and then it just fits right in your hand if you're still getting comfortable using a rib um, on the inside or outside of a piece. The standard size, so kind of comparing, you can see how little the little one is. And these are nice and flexible. I like that. So you don't need as much hand strength when you're using them inside of a piece. It's corner ribs. These are good for all kinds of things. People are going to have fun. Let's go on the top layer. What is that? I just took a peek. You're going to have to wait. bunch of little profile ribs for drawing on the edges of pots, giving texture to pots. Um, these are great for doing texture on the outside of a thrown piece and then stretching it from the inside so you can stretch that out on um, hand-built pieces to give yourself extra texture. I got a couple of different profiles. Um, these like longer, more open ones, some tighter curves. And then I also got this bean shape drawing rib as well. So they're just for kind of getting into different shaped corners and spots. duty wires. Corinne Giselle suggested these guys. I have not used these, but she said she loves them. Oh yeah, it's shorter than the typical cutoff wire. So easy for getting onto those, um, the small square bats, narrow footed pieces. You don't have to wrap it around your fingers as much. I like that. And they're nice and the wire is nice and supple. I have uh, this green wire, which I use all the time. I use the green one and the black one all the time, kind of whichever one I can find. But the, green, the black one is heavier duty um, and it's great for getting underneath big platters. And this one I just use, that's kind of my day go to. These, oh, I'm not gonna stretch it out but I got a wiggle wire, I got a bunch of wiggle wires. So the idea is that you take this, the handles and you pull your wire apart and then you have a little spiral that you can cut patterns with and facet with on your pieces. And then the holidays are coming up. Get that, uh, Potter person that you love, or you just want to try some of everything, I got four of these, the essentials kits. These have like a little bit of everything that Mud Tools makes, and um, let's see, it has their uh, red soft rib, a yellow um, angle rib, it has a long scraper, it has a shredder, it has a mud shark, it has a do all trim tool. Here's kind of you can see of everything that the Essentials Kit has. I've got a pile going on over here. There's a few more things in here. A few more 
wires. And two more, oh, three more wrapped packages. Let's see what else we got. Getting to the end of the box. Those are kind of sexy. So for shaping long platters, I just got a couple of them. There's only a couple of you guys in the studio that are um, making platters that big and I'll, I'll order more as soon as things sell. I'll order more, but I just wanted to kind of see those. I haven't used one of those before. I might buy one. Oh, and then Oh, there's a bunch of you that are going to be that are ready for these guys the um the medium length bowl ribs and so the green one has a little bit of flexibility and then the black one is quite stiff <laughs> a little army of shredders That's it. There's still a few more, a few more wires floating in the bottom of the box. But all of these goodies are going to be for sale in the tiny gallery, which is going to become the tiny tool shop pretty soon.